Hey, Sarah. Oh, hey. I couldn't. So you can see me? Yes, I can. I'm really a tiny box in the bottom of the screen. Here. <laughs> so is there a way that I can see myself doing this, like bigger? Uh, you could. You might be able to either swipe the screen over for a different view or double tap your little box, maybe. And I can chat with you through the iPad, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to hang up. Well, she's there. an active speaker, so she's the big one. Okay, bye. Okay, so I'm here. Hi. Hey, so can you hear me good or? How yes. Yes, you sound really good. But she, it says that she's the active speaker. Uh, let's see. So like you can switch it to that view, but because she's active. But so when you come off, will I be the active speaker? Yes, that's correct. So right now, every time I speak, it's going to show my, um, you're going to just see my view or the Houston Racquet Club. The black oh, yeah, at the bottom it says Houston Racket Club. Yeah, and so, um, let's see. I think that you'll need to, can you swipe the screen over or no? No. Do you see, when you tap on the screen, do you see any controls at the bottom? I see a switch to active speaker and a switch camera. Hmm. You don't see anything that says speaker view. Maybe at the top of the screen. No, at the top it says mute, stop video, start con share content and participants. And then that's it. Hmm. But when they come in, will they, am I on the call now then? Yes, but they're so, there's already a few participants that are like in a waiting room. And so once you get started, I'll admit them. Okay. So will this, like me chatting with you, then we'll just transfer to me talking and they'll be yes. able to hear it? Yes. Well, no, everyone will be on mute. Hold on a second. Thomas is calling. We'll be able hey, to Thomas, that. I'm trying to help Sarah okay. real quick, get everything set up. I'll, I'll give you a call right back. Okay, thanks. Is Thomas Cook or Thomas Brimmel? Cook. Okay. Um, so I I watched Michael Russell's video. Yeah. And at the end, he like wanted to unmute it and have questions, and it was a nightmare because no one talked and he couldn't hear anyone. Yeah. So I'm not I'm not going to do that. We're going to leave it muted the whole time. Yes. I don't want anything to do with that. I'm just going to say like <laughs> y'all unmuted, and like just follow along as best you can. And if you have questions later, most of you have my cell phone and you can text me. Okay, perfect. And then we can also do, you could also say like, you know, we'll, we'll post this onto the Facebook if you guys want to ask any questions there as well. Yeah. So okay. the view in my box, is that the view that they see or do they see like a full screen? Yeah, no, they, whatever you can see is what they can see. So I, I'm, there you go. I was gonna, I wasn't gonna do it portrait, but do you think this is better? Yeah, that, that's, that's a bit better. That's better? Okay. Yeah. It just is like less space for me to move around, so that's fine. But now okay. you can see, actually now I can see my full self, so that actually is a better view. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, uh, and then you're gonna take in control of all, everything else? Yes, that's correct. So you'll just need, all you do is what you teach your class and I'll, I'll control everybody's um, admitting them and everything. Okay. So, and do I start in two minutes right at 9.30 or shall I wait till about 9.35? Uh, I, would, I would give it about three minutes and then you can get started. Okay, so like 9.33 or something? Yeah. Okay. All right. And then I've got about 45 minutes. The whole thing's an hour. I've yeah. got 45 minutes. Yeah. Okay. I should be fine. I'm going to do a challenge for the kids, so it's going to be fun. Oh, good. That'll be fun.
Yeah, and then maybe if I, I was going to tell them to send me some videos, maybe if I get some good videos, you can post them on the website. Yes, that'd be, yes, I love that. Perfect. Yeah. Thank cool. you. You're okay. welcome. Now I'm going to mute myself and you'll be the only one who can talk and then I'll start admitting people in about a minute. And then um, at 9.33, if you want to push it to 9.35, that's fine. Um, okay. But I'll leave that up to you, okay? Yeah, I think I'll do that because my thing's not an hour long, so I'm not going to get okay. cut off or anything. Okay. All right. Have fun. Good luck. <laughs> okay. And hey, Lindsay, at the end, I just press end, leave meeting. Yes. Okay. All right. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Is there coffee? Yeah. Hi, Sarah. What you doing? Now we can't see. Hey, how you doing? Oh, did you get the link that um no? Yeah. He needs yeah. to come off here. Yeah. No. Goodbye. You can come here. Do not press anything, please. Okay. Hi, Sarah. You're muted. That's that's not just another speaking. Okay, that will be Sarah. Well, we can speak. They can hear us, but I know. Yay! Can hear you now. Okay, cool. So it's really good to see y'all. <laughs> Um, this is going to be super simple, so y'all just follow along, it's going to be easy, um, because we're at home and like I'm in my backyard with no equipment, but um, when we start this in a couple of minutes, you guys are all going to be muted, okay? So I'm not going to be able to hear any questions or anything like that, so if you have any questions later today, you can text me, but just so you know, like, if you try to talk to me, like, I'm not going to be able to hear you, okay? So, but just do your best. It's going to be some fitness. So, we're going to wait a few minutes for some more people to join. And then, uh, and then we'll start. Okay, you won't need your record at the beginning. Okay. But keep it close. Keep it close by. And if you have multiple balls, if you have multiple balls, that would be good. Not just one. If you have several at your house, get as many as you can. Daddy. And you don't need a jump rope. You can do pretend jump ropes. How's how's your homeschool going? Good. Great. Yes. Is it? It's way easier than real school, right? Yeah. Kind of. uh, we're gonna have. It's school in June. So. It's Are you gonna have less, like, less work, but I miss all my friends and like seeing them in like actual life. Yeah. But what? There's a lot less work, but like it's not as fun. Hey, Thomas. Hey. How you doing? Hey, Y'all doing? Good. So I'm just waiting a few minutes for some people to. I was told to wait about nine thirty-five, and then I'll start. Cool. This is awesome. Woohoo! Kind of funny. Like I'm not a technical person, so this is kind of scary. I can't. I can't get it on my phone. So we're watching it on Thomas's phone. Although I don't know if you saw, but I saw Nadal do a Instagram call with Federer, and he's really bad at technology too. So that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool. Yeah, it's cool. Funny. <laughs> Yeah, this is 
We're going to go. Right, we'll start in about one minute, okay? So remember to mute yourself so no one else hears your background noise. We're going to get it done. Oh, wait, we're all muted. Okay, guys, so it's 9.35, so we're going to get started right here. Thank you so much for joining us on the Zoom this morning. This is going to be super, super simple, okay? So... Don't worry, don't stress. You're not going to be that tired either. So it'll be, it's just fun just for us to get together because we haven't seen each other for a long time. Um, we're going to start with a warm up. So if you have a tennis ball handy, you can hold it in your right hand or your left hand, doesn't matter. We're just going to skip and we're going to do arm circles. We're not going to throw the ball right now, but we need it in a minute. So we're going to just, we're going to skip and we're going to do arm circles. So you can just move and do arm circles. We're not going to be moving too much because we don't have a lot of space, but we're just going to get the heart rate going, okay? Some of you are lucky that you have a sibling and you can probably play tennis in your driveway with them, but some people are just on their own and they have to just work with what they have. So we've got ourselves and we've got maybe a ball or a few balls. We're just going to do this for a few minutes, okay? Now we're going to switch it to side shuffle. So just find a space and go up and down. Side shuffle. And maybe switch legs. So you know you're leading with another leg. Just going to do this for a few minutes. Get the heart rate up. I don't know how coordinated you are. I don't really know how coordinated I am, but we're going to try high knees or skipping and ball toss. Woo! Slow down. <laughs> Maybe let's try this with catching with the left hand and then throwing. Oh my goodness, I dropped it, see? And then throwing to the right hand. Moving, shuffling, catching. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you can hear me, see me, see the floor, see my seat. Claire and Ella were trying to like pop it back and forth to each other. When we play, we have to be moving the whole time. Sometimes you guys watch your shots and you kind of stop moving. So anything we can do to keep my feet moving, it's good. Okay, guys, now we're going to move to jump rope. If you have one, you can. I'm going to do pretend. So I'm just going to pretend. I'm going to do my arms and I'm going to jump. If you have one, you can do it. Okay? And while you do that, I'm going to explain to you that today we're going to have a challenge. Okay? Today we're going to have a challenge. I'm going to be giving out prizes. So, I don't have them with me, um, but I'd like to give you them right now on the screen. But I'm going to have some tennis with the surf and continental grip later, and I'll explain it a little bit more later, but you're going to have to remember some of the activities from the serving, and you're going to send me videos of you mastering that. And then if you do that, I'm going to give you a prize when I see you at the club when it reopens and I'm going to send you a video of the next stage of the challenge. Okay. So remember later, very important to listen and remember parts that you need for the challenge later. And then I can give you some prizes. Okay. So keep going with your jump rope. We got about 30 seconds. They need water. Guys, I'm not going to break for water. So if you need water, you grab it, okay? Everyone has different fitness levels, so if you need a water, you just stop doing the activity and you grab your water, okay? 
We're not going to stop for water. So you just keep doing it until you need it. Okay, guys, we're going to move on to fitness. Okay, so the first thing, you can put your jump rope to the side. Some of you might not have markers, and that's okay. You can just pretend. But we're going to pretend that there's a line. I've got one marker right here. And I'm going to pretend there's another one right here. Maybe I'll use my phone. Dangerous. Maybe I'll crack my phone, but here we go. So there's two markers, and we're gonna do loading the outside leg. So remember when you play tennis, you have to load, and you're gonna be loading with the outside leg. And if we're open stance, we're doing this. And if not, we're moving this from the neutral stance out so we can cross over step. Okay, so we're gonna work on loading. So we're gonna take our legs. Can you see me right here? And then, I'm going to push with my outside leg, I'm going to drive it, and I'm going to go here, one, two, here. So I'm going to go outside leg, two inside, outside leg, two inside. So you learn to load and hold. So you're balanced. Keep your core strong, keep your head still, and just your legs. We're going to do this for about two minutes. Are y'all doing good? Hopefully. You can come close and see I'm going to come see some of you do it. Keep doing it. I'm going to come. I'm going to flick through and I'm going to watch y'all. I love it. Good job, Reed. Policina, I see you. Guys, you're all doing amazing. I see it. Super good. Well done. Very good. Okay, guys, we've got about 30 seconds of this. Keep going. Keep going. Remember, if you need water, you can break yourself a water. Do some more. Keep going, guys. Couple more seconds. Do the next one. Okay, guys, take a breather. Remember, if you need water, you can get it. But keep listening and watching because I'm going to show you the next thing. We're going to do crossover step now. Okay, and this is one of the most important things for you as a tennis player being efficient in moving back and recovering. Okay, so we need to make sure that we can do that. When we have the neutral stance and we load and we drive our hips, this leg comes through and then this leg has to cross over. Okay, and so to practice that, we're going to do this crossover where we, we only need one marker now or one line. Just pretend wherever your line is, okay? And you're going to cross over with the right leg and you're going to cross over the line like that. Cross in front. So the outside leg, it crosses in front. Okay? Cross in front. Cross in front. Cross in front. So we're going to do this for two minutes, guys. So start whenever you want. Okay, cross over. Push with the leg. Work on loading it and really driving it. Push, push. The faster and the stronger you are on the push, the faster you recover. Okay, so keep doing it. Terrible today. The cars are very loud. Here we go. Keep going. How are we doing? Hopefully, everyone is not too tired. Okay, if you get tired, you can rest, you can take your water. Okay. Okay, guys, breathe. Take a rest. Okay. Gonna move on to the next one. It's called crisscross, okay? It's to improve your lower body coordination and it increases the crossover step functionality. 
So everything is leading to the next thing. So I'm going to take my same line, my same marker, and I'm just going to coordinate my lower body. I'm going to keep my head still, and I'm going to crisscross my legs. And the same, the leg that goes in front goes behind, and then goes in front and goes behind. Okay, guys, off you go. Two minutes of this. If you get tired, you can take a break. Remember, not everyone has the same fitness level. Clara and Ellie, great job. You're like twins and you have the same legs going at the same time. It's like you're on a dance show. Good job. Good job, Blake. I see you there. Nice. Great job. Good, Sebastian. Here we go. Alice, you're doing awesome. You can feel it in your legs a little bit. My calves are a little bit sore. It's good to get a sweat going, guys. We're stuck at home. We're not doing that much, so anything you can do to get better on the court. When you finally get back to the court, you're gonna be awesome. Okay, guys, take a breather. I'm gonna grab a quick sip of water myself. Okay, so if you need one, you can. Great job. Okay, guys, number four, we're gonna do split step. Okay, now, split step, you're supposed to do it every single time your opponent hits the ball, okay? And a lot of the time, we're just there, and we're watching, then we run for a ball, right? But you guys have to practice this split step where it's wider than your shoulders, and then from this position, you can push off, and you can move to the ball, okay? So to practice that, you can make a pretend circle, or if you have a hula hoop, or string, or chalk, or you can just pretend I have a paraband, so I'm gonna use that. But we're gonna go in and out of the circle. So we're gonna go in with our feet in line with the shoulders, and then we're gonna load out like a split step and bend your knees so you're low and you're ready, ready to go. So you go in, out, in, out. Make sure you're low when you go out. Okay, so keep going. We're gonna do this for two minutes. Get low, get low, get low. You can do it slow and hold it, it's up to you. Or you can do it a little faster, but it's about quality, guys. Okay, I'm gonna watch some of you, keep going. How's it going there, let me see. Some of you getting tired? It doesn't matter if you don't have a circle, you can just jump in and out. Just jump in and out, even if you don't have a circle. Very good. I love it. Nice guys, very, very good. Okay, now a little bit similar, but now we're gonna just do the same thing, but instead of jumping with the feet at the same time, we're gonna alternate feet, fast feet, so in, out, like you were doing ladder, okay? Go, like you're doing ladder, in, out, in, out. Pretend it's an agility ladder. Remember, I see some of you looking a little tired, grab water, it's okay. This is a tough one to do fast and keep going. If you need to slow down, you can. If you need to break, you can, okay? It's up to you. I don't want you to just do this in the Zoom today, guys. I want you to do this this week. You should be doing this a lot, practicing your feet, working on your load, working on your split step, shadow your swing. Okay, take a breather, guys. Take a breather, okay. We're gonna move whatever circle you have. 
and we're going to grab our racket, okay? You don't need a ball, just your racket. And if you have any type of cones, you guys are going to make sure that you use them. If you don't, bottles of water, soup, whatever you have, okay? I'm going to grab a quick sip of water again. Okay, but we're going to be doing figure eight now. You guys all know what the figure eight is. There's going to be no ball. So we're going to be shadowing it. You're going to be doing the neutral stance. And when you swing your racket, your leg's going to come out. And then you can practice your crossover step. And you're going to go in and out of the cones, just like we would normally in group, okay? How's everyone? I hope everyone's feeling okay. I shouldn't ask questions because I can't hear you. A good thumbs up, Ellie and Clara. I love that. Good thumbs up if you're doing great. Okay, show me a thumbs up. I'm okay with that. Okay, so put your cones. Okay. I'm just showing you. I don't have a lot of space here, right? So I want you to be able to see me. I'm going to be loading my forehand here. And then I'm going to shadow my swing. I'm going to bring my leg crossover and I'm going to go in and out of the cones. Start whenever you're ready. Start whenever you're ready. Swinging and shadowing figure eight. You can do this at your own pace. That's completely fine. Okay? But you want to be able to do the movement with your racket in your hand. Very important. Bring your leg crossover step. Okay? Here we go. Here. Bring your leg, cross over, okay? When you do your backhand, bring your leg, cross over. Okay, so try to keep doing that. I'm going to watch you. They got it coordinated. <laughs> yeah, I love Clara and Ellie because there's two of you. You can do real figure eight. That's awesome. Very good job, guys. Y'all are doing amazing. This is awesome, Sarah. Oh, thanks. I love it. I, I'm exhausted <laughs> just watching. <laughs> It's good to get the kids out. Absolutely. Good job, Blake Johns. You look like you're really doing great there. Who's that other one? Penelope Williams. Hello. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Shadow your swings. Good. Nice. Seb and Freddie, well done. Reed, I love it. Really good job, bud. Reed, bounce on your toes a little bit more, bud. Good job, guys. Very good. Okay, we've got about 10 seconds to go. 10 seconds. If you need water, grab it. That's fine. Nice. Well done. Okay, guys. We're going to move on to the racket warm-up. We're really going to have a racket in our hand a lot now. And now you need a tennis ball, too. So grab a ball. I have an orange ball right here. Whatever ball you have, orange or red would be amazing, but... Here we go. We're going to start with uppers, okay? So hold your racket, just like we do at the beginning of class, okay? So we're going to do our uppers like this. If you, like, need space or you need time and you can't do this well, you can do the easier version where it bounces, okay? It's completely fine. Get your racket underneath and just bunt, bunt it up. Um, and if you, most of you can already do this, so... Whatever you want to do that keeps the ball going, okay? Now, if you're really coordinated, let me see you do shuffle or bouncing and bouncing the ball on your racket at the same time. Okay, how coordinated are you? Can you do this? Okay, guys, now we're going to do downs. If you want to do it moving and bouncing, it's better. If it's hard for you, do it stationary. That's completely fine. You can even do it with a big bounce in between, so you slow the ball down, okay? There's progressions of this, depending on your level, and it's okay. Okay? Keep doing it. It's funny because I don't have a smooth patio, so my ball's moving. Okay, here we go. A couple more of this. Just do your downs. This is easy, right? You guys all do this at the beginning of class all the time. Okay? If you can get to like 100 of these, it will be amazing. Not right now, I mean during the week. Okay, now we're going to do flip-flops. 
See if you can do this without running around your yard like a chicken. Okay, keep doing this. Flip your racket, make sure you flip it all the way. Flip it all the way. Nice. Good job, guys. Okay, one last thing. We're gonna do this. Throw and see if you can catch it on your strings. Did you see it? Throw, catch on your strings. Throw, catch on your strings. I wanna see if you have some feeling. I'm gonna be able to cup the ball a little bit. Catch it, so then you can do some tricks, right? Throw and catch it like this, okay? Okay, 30 seconds of this, and then we're gonna move on. <laughs> Good job. Okay, guys, Very we're gonna person. move on. How are we doing? Did you I manage to, did everyone manage to do some? Alice, that looked good. Well done. Blake, good job. Okay, guys, so now, the whole point of today really is that a lot of you in the orange ball, we let you just play because we want you to enjoy the sport and get going, right? And a lot of you have learned to do the serve, but you prefer to do it with a slight forehand grip instead of continental, right? So first of all, I'm gonna show you the grip. So the grip, this is a little awkward to show you right up here, but this is the grip, continental, right on the ridge, right on the top here. If you go down the frame, it's like you're shaking hands with the racket or hammer, hammer like this. Okay, but this should be your grip. It's the same as the backhand grip, the serve, everything in the tennis game is this grip actually except your forehand, okay? If you have a two-handed backhand, so this is the grip. So we're gonna use this grip, and this is all part of the challenge today, guys, for prizes. So I want you to really listen and work hard for this, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is, we are going to put our racket down. You're gonna keep your ball in your left hand if you're right-handed. And then if you're left-handed, like Alice there, Alice, you're gonna put it in your right, just like when we throw the ball, okay? You guys are gonna stand on the side like we normally would, and we call this drill hands together. So you're gonna put your hands together like this. You're gonna split your arms down. They're gonna come up and you're gonna throw. And I'm gonna move back so you can see, but you're gonna catch the ball in the air. I'll show you from the side, this side, ready? We go down throw and then catch and you look like you're in the trophy pose. Did you see that? So I go down with my arms, up and throw, catch and I look like I'm in the trophy pose, okay? So do that, we're gonna do that for about, I don't know, one, two minutes. So just try to coordinate, look at my arm. I'm catching it really high up. I'm not cheating and catching it down here. I'm really trying to extend and catch. And when you do a good throw, you throw above your, you release the ball between your eyes and the top of your head, right? So I go up and I release. As I get to my eye level, I start to release the ball and I hold. Alice Sellers, amazing job. Very good. I love it. Good job, guys. Reed needs to bring it like this. Reed's not doing it. Reed, bring your right arm back so that you have the trophy pose right here, okay? just so you're really shadowing it because you wanna do it like you've got a racket in your hand, okay? This is super simple, guys, but this helps your throw. You can practice your toss this way. You know you have a good toss and you can stay in the same position and catch with your arm fully extended like this, okay? So although this looks like easy and boring, something that we just have to do if we wanna get good at serve. Good job, Blake. Very good, I love it. Really nice, guys. Okay, we're gonna do this for about another 30 seconds. Okay, so just keep going. I want you to really have a nice trophy pose there so you're very controlled. Okay, you're trying to throw on the side of your body at one o'clock, okay? So if this hip is 12, this is one o'clock, okay? For a lefty, it's just the other way, so it's 11 o'clock, okay? And you guys already know this because a lot of you are in class with me, so I already know that. Right arm, 
Farinelli, you've got to remember, you've got to throw with your left arm. Left arm. And do your trophy pose, just like you're serving with a racket in your hand, okay? Yeah, there we go. Good job. Okay, a couple more. This is easy, and I know you guys, I can see you all doing it. Okay, so let's move on to the next thing. The next thing is, okay, we're going to do something called place, uh, the placing up challenge. And you guys have all done this with me, but we're going to place the racket on the ground at 1 o'clock or 11 o'clock, depending on if you're a lefty or a righty. Okay, see my racket right there? And I'm going to throw my ball. I'm going to do my same trophy pose, but I'm going to try and hit my racket. I can't believe I did it first time. That's amazing. Okay, so try to hit your racket and see how many you can do in two minutes, okay? But you can have a competition with your sibling if you're right there with each other. Are you going to place? Did you see what I did? I placed my racket at one o'clock because I'm a righty. Alice, you know this. You're going to place it at... 11 o'clock, any of the left-handers in there, okay? And then you're going to just do your trophy pose. And if it's not good, you can catch Ooh, it, good job, okay? And then you're going to try and get it to land on or near your racket head. And it should bounce straight back to you like this, okay? So try that. Try to be accurate. Try to land the ball at 1 o'clock or hit the frame. Okay, guys, I'm going to watch. Let's see how you're doing. Make sure you're throwing it with your normal throwing arm and do your trophy pose. Trophy pose. That was awesome, Penelope Williams. Well done. Good job, Reed. I think Emma is in there somewhere too. I can't see uh, Lizzie Shire. There we go. Good job, guys. There's Lizzie. I can see you now, Lizzie. Nice. Love it. Lizzie's a lefty. There we go. Nice. We've been working on that toss, Lizzie, for. But that's good. How are we doing? Hopefully, we're doing good. Very nice, guys. Okay. How are we doing on time? Let me check this. Okay. So. The next thing we're gonna do. I need you to grab your racket. Okay. Grab your racket. It's easy because it's right by you on the ground, hopefully. Now, remember how I showed you the continental grip. Let's go over this again. Check my hand. Make sure that it's like this. We don't want to cheat and have it on the forehand grip, okay? Remember, I teach Pat the dog on the forehand grip. Okay, we want it more like this. Hammer or kill the spider. Okay, so we're like this. You're going to keep that grip. And today, it doesn't matter how you do, guys. It's about doing it right. It's not about, oh, I did a thousand downs with my continental grip about just really trying to keep your hand here and not cheating, okay? This is all part of the challenge. So, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do downs, but we're gonna do downs now with the frame because it's like a hammer, okay? So let's try it, downs with the frame, okay? So you gotta try and keep the ball going with the frame only. And that will tell me that you're not cheating because the frame is to the ground. Okay, try it. It's kind of hard to keep it going, especially if your patio has ridges in it. <laughs> okay, which I'm finding out right now. Okay, so just keep it going, but really try not to cheat and try to do downs with your frame. Okay, we're going to do this for about 30 seconds. Okay, just keep doing that. Nice, very good, Sebastian. I saw that. That was awesome. Good, Lizzie. Reed, good job. Reed, I don't know where your sister is, but I think she's doing it too. Hopefully I can see her in a minute. Good job, Blake. I saw that. Nice. Look at the twins. Good job, twins. This is harder than it looks, guys. Okay, now, something we need to do, and the reason that this grip feels awkward, right, is because when you go up to serve, I'm going to kneel down so you can see me, but when you go to serve, you don't want to hit the ball with your frame, right? You have to turn the racket without moving your hand, right? So it's still hammer grip, it's still continental. And I lead with the edge, but I have to turn it. And this always feels awkward. So to help you with that, put the little index finger up a little higher 
So it's not gripping really tight because that will give you room to maneuver your racket a little bit more freely, okay? And then what we're gonna try to do is, we call it pronation, that's turning. We, the word is pronation. We're gonna pronate our racket, but we're gonna do three downs on the frame, and then we're gonna do three downs by pronating, and you're not gonna cheat and move your hand. So we're gonna do one, two, three, or however many you can, and I'm gonna pronate. So I'm gonna go three frame, three strings. Three frame, three strings. Okay, off you go, try to do that for a minute. Three frames, three strings, but without changing your grip, you have to turn your hand. We call it pronating, turn it. With, keep the same grip, keep the hammer grip, turn it. Okay, keep doing it. Let's do it, three on the frame, or two or three, it doesn't matter, and then turn it. But if you can do three and three, you have a lot of control. And we're going for a lot of control today. When you get back on the court, I want you guys to all be using your continental grip for serving because at some point we all have to learn that and it would be better to learn it now while you're at home, not doing a whole lot, right? So we're going to be doing all these exercises and you can do them all week to practice using your continental grip. Okay, so keep doing it. Just a couple more, 30 seconds, three on your frame, three pronating, three on your frame, three pronating. Okay. Okay, guys, now come and watch this one because this one is a little weird. I'm going to grab an extra couple of balls so I can show you. But to work on pronation a little bit more, we're going to work on turning the racket and hitting the ball behind me. So I'm going to drop the ball and I'm going to have my racket frame to the ground ready. And I'm a righty, so it's on my right side. I'm going to drop the ball. It would be really good if you have grass or a wall near you to stop all your balls running everywhere. And if you have multiple balls, you can use your multiple balls right now. So you're not running like around like a chicken. But I'm like this. I'm going to drop the ball. I'm going to turn my racket so it's behind me. That's pronating. I've pronated. And then I'm going to hit behind me like this, okay? So I'm going to drop and I'm going to hit. You can have one or two bounces. Drop, hit. Okay, so practice that, okay? You've got two minutes. Practice turning and hitting. Drop and turn and hit. Okay, so you have the frame, you're ready. You turn and hit behind you. The frame, turn and hit behind you, just like that. And this is weird, I know. But this is gonna help your pronation, okay? Maybe if you have a parent behind you, then you don't have to run around after your ball. Really start with your frame like this, guys, so you have complete control. Start with your frame, drop the ball, and then turn it. So we really can see that you're doing something different from how you start. You start with your racket like this, and then you turn your racket, okay? Keep going, guys. I can see you all trying this, and I know this is a really bizarre, weird skill, but this is gonna be part of your challenge, guys, and I need you to start mastering this, okay? So let me explain the challenge to you again, okay? While you're doing that, can you hear me? Okay, give me a thumbs up if you can hear everything I'm saying right now. So this challenge, okay? I want you the whole week, whenever you've done your schoolwork, because of course school homework and everything else comes first, we're gonna keep going. I've got one more activity for you and that's gonna be part of the challenge also. But in the challenge, you're going to show me the three frame downs and the pronate three frame down. You're gonna show me your grip at the beginning of your video. You're gonna video yourself. Okay, you're gonna show me your grip. You're gonna start your challenge with your three downs and your three pronations, okay? Then you're gonna show me the hitting behind you that we just did. So you're gonna show that you start with your frame, you drop your ball and you can hit behind you like this, okay? And then the last part of the challenge is what we're going to do right now. And it's called elephant's trunk. So you guys all know an elephant, right? And it has the big, long trunk, okay? So grab a ball, okay? I'm going to show you from the side. But when you eventually hit the serve and you pronate, 
you will, I'm gonna get on my knee so you can see my racket. You're gonna lead with the edge on a serve, okay? Because you have this continental grip and you're gonna pronate like we've said, okay? And you know how in class, we high five the wall and we high five, we trap on the wall in class and we, we trap the ball on the fence. You can see me, I have my strings to the side and my frame and then it turns, right? And that's what has to happen when you hit the ball. So for the elephant's trunk, I'm gonna lead with my racket and I'm gonna, first of all, without throwing the ball, I'm gonna shadow, which means swinging with no ball. And I'm gonna pose and I'm gonna do an elephant's trunk. You see my elephant's trunk? So I'm gonna look like an elephant with my arm and my racket and I've pronated so my strings are to the ground. Okay, so I'm gonna do my whole swing. I'm gonna, and I'm gonna end with my elephant's trunk. So first of all, let's take one minute to shadow that. So show me your elephant's trunks. Okay, show me that. So I want you to pose with your elephant's trunk like this. And I wanna see your strings down. Good, and if you can do it to the side, then I'll be able to see your trunk out on the side like this, okay? I know it's hard for everyone to get your whole body and a racket and everything in in a space where I can see and you can see. I love it, Lizzie. Well done. That looks good. I love the elephant trunk. Good job. Blake, turn on the side for me so I can see that. There you go. And it doesn't matter which way, sweetie. There we go. And do your elephant trunk. I saw it. Good, but do it, remember, like this. Get into your trophy pose first, and then do your elephant shrug, okay? Get in your trophy's pose, and then do your, there you go, very good, but end like this. Hold it with your strings, like you're gonna, you know like, if you guys have done basketball, Coach Sarah's never done basketball, guys, but we have kids and they do basketball, so I know. You have to, the coach will always say on the free throw, Hand in the cookie jar, remember this? Hand in the cookie jar. So when you're doing your swan, I mean, when you're doing your elephant's trunk like this, that's what I'm doing with my wrist, do you see that? So I'm doing that, that's my elephant's trunk. So at the end, you're gonna pose with your elephant's trunk like this. Or you can think about it like hand in the cookie jar, okay? Okay, now, if you feel comfortable and you feel like you're doing a good elephant's trunk, I want you, and this is part of the challenge, you're gonna video yourself. You're gonna actually toss the ball. So you're gonna do a good trophy pose, toss the ball, and you're gonna hit and you're gonna freeze with your elephant's trunk. Okay, so I'm gonna try and let me get some spaces so you can see me. I don't know if you can still see me. Oh, I'm up, and then I'm gonna freeze and I'm gonna do my elephant's trunk, okay? Again, elephant's trunk. Okay, so you guys can hit some balls if you have them. Do this and actually hit and freeze with the elephant's trunk, okay? Do it with an actual ball. Good. If you can't do it with a ball, it's totally fine. You can, you can um, make sure you just pronate, okay? Make sure you do really good trophy pose first. There you go, good job, Blake. I saw the trophy pose and then the elephant's trunk. And if you feel like you wanna hit the ball, you can. Hit the ball, do it like this, and freeze. So, keep going guys. Nice guys, well done. Okay, everyone come on in, everyone come on in, so I can see you. Let's go over this one more time, because I know y'all love prizes. It might even be just an ice cream, but it's something, okay? But I've got some prizes at home, like Frisbees, sunglasses from Head, some jump ropes, some little things that you would normally get a hit for prizes. So this is the challenge for this week. Once you've done all your homework and all your schoolwork, okay? Because that's first. And then it's a really nice day and you go outside, practice your continental grip. You're going to send me a video. You're going to show me your continental grip. And then you're gonna do your downs three and pronate. So you're gonna do your three on the frame and turn with the strings. 
you're going to show me that you have control of that without cheating on your grip, okay? And then you're going to show me the hitting behind you. So we did it like this. You drop and you hit behind you. And then you're going to show me the elephant's trunk shadow and the elephant's trunk hitting, okay? And you're going to show me at the end that you haven't moved your hand, okay? And send me that video to my cell phone. You all have my, my text. You all have it. I know. So you send me that. Once you send me that and I see that you master it and it's right, I'm going to give you a prize when I see you at the club, okay? When we reopen, whenever that will be, okay? We're going to, I will give you a prize. And then once you send me your video, I'm going to send you another video with the second part of the challenge, which will be footwork for the surf, okay? Because we can't really get the footwork down until we can hit the ball right, okay? So we're going to work on hitting the ball correctly. And then we're going to work on loading our legs and using our body to help us. So that will be the second part of the challenge. And I will text you that video once you text me your video. You got it? Give me a thumbs up. I hope everyone had a good time this morning. You got a good heart rate, warm up and blood flowing. And then you learned something with this. But this is super important, guys. So practice all week long. Okay? Okay, guys. So really Thank you so much, Coach Sarah. Thank you. I hope awesome. everyone stays safe this week and hope to see you soon. Awesome. Bye, guys.